So I don't know why. I was just start debating on what to do a review. I should just do a review on every reel I buy, whether it's good or bad. But anyways, this review is on a Pis Piscophon ICX5, I think. I think yeah, that's what this reel is. CX5. It holds 160 yards of four pound braid and 140 yards of four pound mono. It has five plus one bearings, so it must be five ball bearings. It has a five two to one gear ratio. It weighs 6.1 ounces and it has 12 pound max drag. That's pretty heavy for having four pound line strung on it. And its retrieve per turn is 22.5 inches. And it has six bearings, so it's a five plus one. That's what I thought. Anyways, I bought this reel. I have a, had like three ice fishing rods that were cheap Walmart rods, and I broke the reel. So this is one of the reels I brought for one out of randomness. I think it was like twenty two ninety five or twenty five dollars. Was not that expensive. I don't know. Its drag works pretty well. Like you can feel it. It spun really well when I hooked into a big northern. I put. Berkeley four pound micro ice on it. It worked. It's worked pretty well so far. I've caught some perch and northern, some walleye, a pike on it, and I had a pike snap it off. Some bluegills. I've got a mixture of stuff. This rod's pretty awful. It's just a Walmart special rod. It's like a South Bend or whatever or Celsius. It's some really cheap rod from a Walmart combo. It's not the right action for a panfish rod, but it catches fish. That's what matters. Although musky Hans is always on the fish. Actually, I'm not always on the fish. I don't know. It's a plastic rod. So probably if you get a snag and you put like eight pound lines, it would probably break right here. But I haven't done it. I only have four pounds. The four pound will probably break before the reel breaks. Anyways, the drag works pretty well on it. It reels smooth. So far, the back reel's held up. I've had this for like two months. I don't know whether it's a good or bad investment. We'll have to see in two years. Anyways, it came in this box. It was a random reel I bought off Amazon. I just wanted to buy two new reels for my ice rod. And I want to get rid of these boxes. I don't even know what else is in this box still. I probably should get it out. Is that just a owner's manual yeah i'll just throw this out it's just the parts of the reel here's what it comes with and it says all the parts to the reel i'll just throw this out and literally because this reel is so cheap it's just basically a disposable reel you can follow them on amazon facebook youtube instagram and i know they have a tiktok page too because it always comes up in my tiktok feed so this just says all the anatomy and it says about 10 million different languages here like chinese russian and i don't know all the other ones I'm sure you can copy and paste it into google translate if you want to find out anyways that's it for my review of this reel i don't know it's worked well so far i'd probably give it a four out of five this line's worked well too right now i just have a fire tiger jig and a split shot i was just putting a minnow down on and digging with waxies. Anyways, this is my, my lighter weight rod. For some reason, my ultralight panfish rod, I've just been fishing a dead stick on. So this is what I'm digging for panfish with and just catching perch and on mostly. So that'll be it for this video. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.